Hey guys, what is up? My name is Tabby and this is Atley. Atley, so you can call me Atley this. <laughs> yes. So welcome to our channel. And today I will be doing another tag. It's called the most worn, the least worn, and the cutest handbag tag. I was tagged by Jill Maurer and Fashionably Amy. Thank you so much. And I believe the tag was created by Coffee, Coffee with Nadia. So thank you ladies for tagging me. I will start with the video right now. So let's go start with the most worn bag. And how I'm looking at it is not like in like my whole like bag wearing career, um, but more so um, at my bags that I'm currently wearing the most now and currently least and currently the cutest. Cause you know how it is. We, we change our handbags, we collect more and things tend to change depending on lifestyle. So at the current moment, my most worn handbag would definitely be my, oh, let me get, oh, okay, let's put it right here. Thank you, Allie. So my most worn handbag, oh, can you scoot over a little? Thank you, and then pass me the next bag, okay? Just a second. Here, sit down, and then pass me the next bag in just a second. Okay, so currently my most worn handbag is this one, and uh, this is my Chloe Fay medium bag. No, this is my Chloe Fay bag in medium in the tobacco color. Oh, this is my newest purchase, although I've only had it for, what, about a month or so? But I've been currently just wearing it all the time. I love this bag so much because it's just so discreet. If you're not a handbag lover, it doesn't have the logos and monogram and just screams luxury all the time. So just being here um, where I'm living, I just want to be a little bit less in your face and more subtle. And this bag is just so beautiful. I think it's perfect for fall and it is just an amazing, amazing bag. I did have a video where I spray protected this bag and thankfully all is well. All right, so you want to pass me this one? Thank you. My least handbag will definitely come to you as a surprise. It is, was my dream bag, still is my dream bag, but a dream bag that I don't wear too often. And that would be my Chanel Jumbo. So this bag is so beautiful. This is my Chanel Jumbo in silvered hardware and caviar leather. I just, I love it, I love it. But what I'm finding is that Psychologically, I still can't rationalize like paying so much money for a bag. In my mind, it just, I don't know. So like when I'm like out and about, like I'll wear it and then I'm like, oh, I don't want to damage it because so and so, this and that because of the price. Or like um, it will sit in my closet and I'm like, oh, something happens. Like I hope, you know, I just, I don't know. Like for me, the hefty price tag really psychologically like gets to me and I don't know if you guys get that but um, I still do wear it I just don't wear it as often as my other bags um, I don't really feel like it's a carefree bag even though it's a pretty hardy bag and even though um, it may like get damaged if it does you could always get it repaired by the leather surgeon I just love this bag so much and I like love how much like how good condition it is so it's kind of like my little like display like a door piece and I'll wear it at times but I just want to wear it more often so sadly I don't wear this bag too often okay next for my cutest handbag tag it would definitely be a tie between two bags now help me choose oh you can kind of see it help me choose which one you think is the cutest bag out of my collection it's a tie for sure okay it would either be my speedy uh mini hl or my oh it's really bright oh it is bright in the sun or my multicolor treville and blanc why is it so bright? Okay, let me switch places real quick. Oh, goodness. This is blown out. Anyways, I do think that this is such a beautiful bag. There we go. Ah, there we go. That is such a gorgeous bag. It's so cute with all the colors. It looks like a vanilla birthday cake. Or do we like the little tiny little baby speedy HL? Goodness. I have no idea. I like both of them. They're just so cute. So yeah, um, I just love these bags and those would definitely be my cutest bags and I've been wearing this one 
uh, like crazy. In my last video, guys, I did a review on this, and I kept saying that my iPhone 10 won't fit in this bag. I don't have an iPhone 10, and thank you to the subby that corrected me. I have an iPhone 8 Plus, and that is why I'm having such a hard time putting uh, my my phone in it. And it does fit, but just not comfortably. And so yeah. All right, guys. Thank you so much for tagging me. This was a fun tag as always. I tag. I actually don't know who didn't um, do this tag, so I'm just gonna leave your names down below, and hopefully I can see you from this video. So thank you, Atli, for passing my bags to me, and say, don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, and thumbs up, and we thumbs will see up. you in our next video. Bye. Bye.